this is Enrico, and I am back again on your computer screens. Hope you guys are doing fantastic because you clicked on this video and you're seeing my face. <laughs> Subscribe because you will get opinions pertaining to East Asian pop culture as well as other important issues from that very place. Like this video if you've heard something that resonates with you. <laughs> I read this article a day or so ago. And it was talking about anime and how most of the anime voice actors for the English dub <laughs> are of the European persuasion or a white. If, if you want to be uncultured, we, we could just say that. <laughs> and just how Asian Americans have been speaking out recently because they are voice actors as well. I mean, contrary to popular to belief, you know, um, Asian people do other stuff other than just do math. <laughs> And they're saying that they also want to be a part. They, they want to be in their ethnic stories. It's kind of sad when you gotta beg someone who's not of your ethnic background to be in your own ethnic story. I remember looking at the 90s version of The Lion King. Love this movie. And then looking years later and saying that most of the people that were voicing this cartoon were not African, but were of the European persuasion. And I was very upset about that. Yeah, yeah there, was, there was black people in this movie, but still, the front runners are always white. And it, this is something that definitely has to be talked about and addressed from many different forms of media and the whitewashing and saying that Asian people are invisible and saying that black people talk too much. And speaking of black people, even them being voice actors in anime is so far in between. I remember being black and going to conventions and barely seeing anyone that looks like me doing major anime voiceover work or seeing black cosplayers and there was always something culturally insensitive said like well you're the black version of this and it's just like why why though and then feeling like that all of us black anime fans kind of had to come together because there was always something to say it where it's just like, well, you ruined that, but, but, but we're always the one talking about race though. <laughs> yes, but then even talking about Asian Americans' talent and just them wanting to be in the door and how they have to ask and get referrals. <laughs> from this big mogul or a CEO in order to even be in the same space because we all know that a lot of times these production companies they have in mind who they want to play a role they do hold auditions sometimes just do connections and these people just walk in the door now I'm not saying that these voice actors and actresses that have been doing anime for years for English speaking audiences are not talented because they are but I do think that there's a new dawn that is coming where anime is an Asian person's ethnic story whether you want to believe it or hear it it is the truth <laughs> so I am happy when I see an Asian name like for the film Mirai where John Cho and Daniel Day Kim were also part of that film or seeing video games like Judgment where for the English dub they actually did have an Asian actor. We can also talk about Ghost of Tetsuma also where you could tell that they modeled <laughs> that character after the original voice actor. They look exactly alike. <laughs> I was like wow. <laughs> but I do think that there needs to be a space for everyone for diversity for a long time. Even subconsciously, it's been pounded into us that to be American was to be white. 
and that's not true. To be American is to actually be diverse. America is a melting pot of people. And we need to start representing this more. Now, I know there's going to be some people that are going to say, well, you're trying to erase white people from everything and we're being so sensitive and why does it even matter? I am not saying that white people should not audition for anime. I'm definitely not. What I'm saying is that there should be equal opportunity for everyone so that we can see a diverse cast of people in anime. There should be more Asian Americans in anime. There should be more black people in anime. Why not? Because it shouldn't matter the color of your skin. It would be real easy for me to say that ethnic people for that ethnic story should be the only one to do that anime, but I don't feel like that that would be right. It'd be kind of hypocritical of me to say that. There's also anime that is created and the setting is outside of Japan. The characters are not Japanese at all. So you would think that the English dub makes more sense here. I'm watching this anime called Violet Evergarden. Very good emotional driven anime. And none of the characters in this anime are actually Japanese. So you would think that the overdub works and it does work and is a very good overdub. You know, there's there's so many different people in this world, and there are black people that have done anime. There are Hispanic people that have done anime. People from all over that tried out and that voice characters that we probably don't even know about. I just feel like that there should definitely be a space for everybody, so that everyone feels like they have an equal chance and everybody's talent shines through. I have noticed that Funimation has started allowing more Asian Americans to be behind the scenes to produce anime, to actually do voice acting, but there should be more. I don't feel like it's enough yet. I feel like that I definitely would like to see more minorities kind of at the forefront and being able to shine because for many years it has mostly been white people, European people who have mostly had this opportunity. And it would be nice to see all colors, like Skittles, like Starburst. Just, just you know, a mixture of colors. Just, just, just all together. I mean, we, we want the production to go well. We want everybody to shine. I mean, don't you want that? <laughs> So you guys, this is a lot to think about. Follow my social media, mostly my Instagram. I also have a blog on East Asian Pop Culture. The link is always down in the description box below. And remember, be real, stay real, live in the real, and I will be back. I love you guys. Take care. Mm-hmm. <laughs>